Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be reacting to Tamta replay Cyprus. Cyprus will be killing it and we are amongst the first ones to uh, view it live in the premiering. It starts like in 3 seconds. Cannot wait, let's all have a look. There are like 7000 people watching. Oh, very nice. Lovely aesthetics. The aesthetics is just amazing. She's like all dressed in pink. There's like a huge hype uh, around a uh, Cyprus. It's like Maruvi Crane. Oh, I like these fevers. The aesthetics, is, aesthetics are just like. And it's like a lot of Sadomaso trends in this year. I see these chains, uh, you know, sticked by the girls. Love the song. Oh yeah, this is a banger! It sounds very similar to Maruf. We lost Ukraine, but we've got Cyprus. I wish they were both there. Like this trumpet, strong trumpet. Oh, damn, she's looking good, like in a factory. This is like an international level, guys. This is not just for Europe, this is for the whole world. It's just like to kill it, everybody. Definitely, it's like the same level as uh, Eleni for last year. I'm so glad that Cyprus... Cyprus is finally fighting, you know, guys? Guys. That was so fast. That was so fast. <laughs> Can we stop the moment and enjoy this beauty? It's great. It's great. Um, yeah, so we have... We all have got Cyprus in. Another song, another country has unveiled their art. Okay, let's watch one more time and let's just stick into it. So you did 11,000 11, views in just in six minutes. You know, the guys, the next one who's gonna, uh, who's, who will be preparing uh, the next stars of Eurovision, please consider premiering. It's a really cool thing. It starts like she's like all dressed in pink. And there's some motorcycles around. I don't think that this message has like, this song has a really, insightful message you know what i mean it's just mostly about visual appealing uh graphics because it's like a different snatched you know part of the video it's like different location i don't really see a clear you know a uh, plot and a clear um line storyline in the video damn this chair is Dun, 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 hey. I'm sure everybody will be replaying this damn banger. This is sunglasses. She's a very beautiful woman. I like it, it's like some... 
this honey. It's like, uh, uh, yeah, it's definitely. It's more and more satisfying the visual. Uh, it doesn't really have deep meaning as Mahmoud or as Belgium or as uh, Portugal in the entrance itself. But you know, we need such kind of music because music, it, it is a, a form of delivery, message delivery. But at the same time, we should not forget that music is also about fun. Music is also about uh, celebrating uh, the joyfulness, the positiveness, the happiness. So this is the, exactly that moment when, you know, you just need to relax and just flow to the rhythm, you know, according to the rhythm flow. Of course, her personality plays a huge role. She knows how to look expensive, if you know what I mean. Because, of course, this is not the type of... It's not like the most original uh, clap, uh, clap song we've heard. But she's selling it. She's selling it very expensively. She knows how to behave. She has a very great uh, uh, presence in the video. Um, she has this, you know, some very feminine, you know, strong confidentiality, confidence, not confidentiality, confidence, and she's using it, and she's working it, and she's promoting it, I like it very much that she has a brand, it's an artist, if I go to YouTube page, uh, uh, hello, hi, how are you, it's 21st century, so guys, Facebook, it's important, YouTube, it's important, Instagram, it's important, that's the first impression you're making, of course, it's not the biggest, uh, the millennials are not the biggest part of Eurovision family, but it's a future of the Eurovision family, and you have to hook them right now, as Bulgaria is doing, as Macedonia is doing, as Cyprus is recently doing, you know, giving this young, uh, oriented to millennials, visual appealing and musically uh, satisfying music for young people. And that's what uh, Cyprus is doing, and they really, they really deserve. I don't, I don't, I think they never won. And you know, obviously, Elena Ferreira smashed it last year, guys. It was 16th, and then after the first rehearsal, she got to number one. She even overpassed Neta for a couple of days, if I'm not being wrong. Uh, and you know, she just the dance mood that Ferreira had. It was unbelievable. So. Um, synchronic, um, it was so synchronic, it was so perfect, very ideal, idealistic made, but it's in very positive ways, it's so very creative, very small things, very small details, shapes, it was amazing, beautiful, and um, Cyprus, they, uh, they're really showing that they want it, they're ready to uh, bring Europe in um, to bring Europe to Nicosia, Nicosia, oh, Nicosia, uh, and I really, really applaud uh, for their really, really hard work. Uh, it's a very cool song, of course, it's a very cool song. Uh, and of course we are now waiting for the show because Cyprus last year really impressed everybody. Um, it's going to be hard to compete with the uh, Forera, with Eleni, because you need to make at least the same, you know, but you will be different with the song you're having or even better. So it's a very high stake, but Cyprus is in the competition. We have all to agree that she will be fighting Cyprus. It is a potential winner and they are fighting for the first position. That's obvious. Of course, songs, music is not always about the voice. We should accept it and Sweden is proving this. They are being at a very high level, not necessarily having the best voices. So uh, Cyprus this year is fighting for the first position and we shall all agree for that. We should all give a chance and not neglect and not underrate Cyprus. Good job, Tamta. Good job. Very, very interesting. Uh, it was a huge hype. The teaser that she uh, has posted it, uh, it really attracted attention. It really worked. It hooked people. 
and now premiering, which I haven't seen from anyone in Eurovision so far to premiere the video. And 12,000 people. Let me see how, how many are there now. 15,000 people. That's a really cool start. To be honest, it's a really, really cool start. So, guys, what do you think about Tamta, about Cyprus? Do you like Eleni more or do you like uh, Tamta more? Do you feel like she will be fighting for the first position? Do you think that we will be celebrating and drink wine next year in Nicosia, in Cyprus? You know, witnessing Eurovision 2020? Please comment down below. What do you feel about this song? What's your opinion? What are, you, what are your remarks? What are your thoughts? Pieces of opinion. They are all very valuable and they are all have uh, importance. So guys, thank you so, so much for tuning in with me. Um, I appreciate a lot your view and your presence and your support. And I'll hope to see you in the next video. Phew.